Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast. Here we discuss the most popular topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. Eugene provides different algorithms for solving multiple bioinformatics tasks, such as multiple sequence alignment, sequence comparison, finding subsequences, and more. Today we will use Smith-Waterman algorithm to perform a local sequence alignment, which means determining similar regions between two nucleotide or protein sequences. Let's open a sequence, for example, Haemophilus influenzae DNA from NCBI database. We will search into the sequence for matches with some other sequence we already know. Say, let's take this region into account. It's a terminator. First, we will copy the terminator sequence into clipboard. To do this, we select the terminator annotation by left click, and then bring up context menu by right click and select copy, copy annotation sequence. Now we activate Smith-Waterman dialog box by right-clicking and select Analyze Smith-Waterman context menu items. We paste our sequence into pattern text edit. There are several useful parameters we will focus on. First of all, we can select algorithm optimization option from classic SSE2 or CUDA, since I have SSE2 processor and CUDA compatible video card in my PC. The result will be the same, but the working time could speed up of up to 30x with CUDA variant. We'll select CUDA. Further, we can select or view the scoring matrix. Here we see a DNA matrix with standard weights. Numbers in matrix cells are the scores for combination of two corresponding bases. Also, we can specify open and extension gap scores. The results filtering strategy includes a report results filtering option. If filter intersections is selected, then the results are filtered if intersected, which could simplify post-processing work. And if we want to find all the results, then we choose none as the active filter. Finally, we could specify similarity threshold, which is the minimal score of two regions needed to consider them as similar. The next three panels are intended to specify what we search and where. We can use either sequence or translation here, and specify the strand, direct, complement, or both. Finally, we can specify a region of the sequence we will search in. The results will be presented as annotations, so we need to save them into an existing or a new file. Also, we need to specify the result annotations group name and the annotations name. We are ready to click search. When the search is done, the sequence view of the sequence being searched contains new annotations. These are the results. As we see, we have about 10 results. Their regions appear colored with a new color at the sequence view. Each annotation represents a region of the sequence similar to the search pattern. The qualifier value represents score of the result. So, we have several regions similar to the sort for term of the Haemophilus sequence with 60% minimal score. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and feel free to comment our videos and post requests to our forum.